So, one more speaker before the break. Our next speaker is a LARPer who does artistic research at Stockholm University of the Arts, cross-media development at Region Gävlebori here in Sweden, and lots and lots of dog walking. The VR and the metaverse aren't as nice, uh, aren't, isn't, that, isn't that aren't as nice as they could be, as places, as experiences, as social environments. How about we use some LARP designer skills and make some DIY improvements? Please welcome Josefin Rydberg. Thank you. Oh, it's a shame I can't see you, the friendliest crowd I'll ever get to talk to. Um, well, basically what Chris said. <laughs> well said. Um, uh, this is my name. If you want to find me on social media, I also go by other names as Juffe or Joe. Only LARP can save VR. Uh, I'm talking, of course, about immersive VR, which is the sort of VR where you feel completely immersed in a space. You can move around, interact with objects. And my idea is that you don't get as much motion sickness as in uh, many other types of VR, but you can talk to Karin Erdmann on that. There she is. She's got the perfect uh, tips and hacks uh, if you suffer from nausea while traveling in VR. Basically, VR is built by well-meaning transhumanists. Um, as we've seen with weird biases resurfing in, in artificial intelligence and all sorts of algorithms, such as um, women being turned down for bank loans because the algorithms are not designed for women, or facial recognition software not recognizing faces of color, for instance. Um, well-meaning transhumanists aren't necessarily uh, the best designers for all of humanity or even all of tech. Now, social VR is built on a transhumanist architecture. And if we are to move into the metaverse altogether, I would like to get some redecorating done first. Here are some of the social VR spaces that you can interact in today. And they are, I mean, they are built for multiplayer experiences and they are live so you can access them at any time and interact with other people. Or you can tell your friends that we should all meet in these spaces at a certain time and play out a LARP if you'd like. I think you should. There are lots of horror stories it's only a short Googling away if you're curious about the horror stories um, that come from traveling in these lands. Um, I can tell you when I lent my Oculus Go at the time to a friend of mine, um, I've always felt very safe for some reason. And she went, to, she went into um, Old Space VR, I think, and she was immediately sexually harassed. She took up her helmet, we laughed about it, and it felt a bit weird because she'd been using my helmet and my avatar, and uh, I never get harassed when I use it, so that's that. Um, also, I've never been to a, a gathering for, for women or women and allies in VR without the conversation revolving around veterans telling rookies, yes, you can block him, he won't find out, no, you don't have to feel guilty about it, Etc. Etc. So we do have some problems. Um, yep, there are issues. And uh, if you've ever happened, if you've not visited the metaverse or any kind of social VR space, you may have visited Twitter and found that the conversation there uh, includes some racial slurs, rude gestures, and other inappropriate behavior. It'll give you an idea of what you may encounter in VR. Another example of the shortcomings of social VR uh, may surprise you if you're not a frequent flyer. Uh, it can be terribly boring. I mean, where is everybody? <laughs> uh, there, is, there, is, there is a segregation that is built on your, what you use for technology. If you're using an Oculus Quest, this is what you'll encounter a lot of the time. You will get to wander around Empty space after empty space filled only with music. Uh, it can be horrifying. 
If you want to go to the Funland places, you should access this uh, through uh, a PC-driven headset. Now, all sorts of behaviors and insecurities need to be navigated and renegotiated as we move into this new space. Negotiating behavior, that to me sounds like something that LARPs and LARPers are usually very good at, because we've been practicing this a lot. Uh, Yeah. This is <laughs> Did I did I did I really have to type meta seol in in uh, Korean letters? Yes, I did. That's the sort of person I am. I have to tell everybody I'm learning Korean and I can now use Korean letters. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Um next year, 2023, uh, Oh Sehun, who's the mayor of Seoul, says that Seoul will be in the metaverse. That's a political promise. That's a politician's promise, so we don't know what it's worth. But that's certainly the ambition and their in intention. And I think that if we are to move even public administration and stuff into the metaverse, we really need to uh, learn how to build trust, accountability, and and learn how to behave uh, and relate to each other. This is also <laughs> in the metaverse. Oh, dearie, dearie. I, I've tried to visit Seoul a couple of times. I did go to the bell ringing uh, ceremony for New Year's, um, and I was confused. I was bewildered and very disappointed. I imagine this is not the impression they hope to make on visitors. But why should LARPers bother with VR, especially now that I've told you how bad it is? Uh, it has some rather unique potential for LARPers to explore, I find. It's digital, so you can work uh, across, across long distances, minus the screen fatigue that certainly I get from Discord and Zoom. Um, it's embodied, it's spatial, it's easy peasy opt out. I mean, you can just take the helmet off. If, if you're uncomfortable. Also, avatars. I mean, we can be unicorns. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, of course, this offers a lot more freedom from, from player um, appearances, which may be nice. And you can be an idiot prancing around in your pajamas while doing it. See? Avatar, unicorn, idiot. Unicorn, <laughs> idiot. Same. Uh, so, to end up, VR needs you. Please come. Please come and sprinkle some of your LARPy magic into the world of immersive social VR. Physical play, chamber LARPs, intrigues, mysteries, and norm creative funsies. It would make the metaverse a much better place for all, and it would be very kind of you to do so, as I have pledged to spend another four years in there until I'm finished with my PhD. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you.